Welcome once again to our continuing YouTube video series on the law. My name is Christopher Neufeld of Neufeld Legal. And in this particular video, we will be discussing the concept of the unclean hands doctrine. So what exactly is the unclean hands doctrine or might be known as the clean hands doctrine in some cases or the dirty hands doctrine? Well, it is an equitable defense that bars relief to a party who has engaged in inequitable behavior. So inequitable behavior could be fraud, deceit, unconscionability, bad faith, and it's related to the subject matter of that party's claim. So it's typically applied only to the equitable claims that are brought by the asserting party, such as requests for injunctive relief or specific performance. Although in some certain jurisdictions, it is permitted as a potential defense to the broader legal claims that have been brought by that party or plaintiff or claimant. So, and one, another consideration is that although the doctrine of unclean hands is typically seen as a affirmative defense that is raised by against the plaintiff by the defendant, there are situations where the plaintiff, in opposition to the defendant's counterclaims or cross-claims, may assert this same equitable defense as against estoppel. So what is typically some ideas necessary to bring the doctrine of unclean hands forward. Well, one of the things you need to be doing is you need to be passing a certain bar. And this is all based on specifics of the matter that you have to look at, but you're not going to be say getting crossing that bar typically if you're simply looking at generally immoral or corrupt conduct so as to get the unclean hands doctrine moving you have to actually demonstrate that the party against whom you're raising it did in fact engage in an inequitable behavior that is related to the subject matter of the litigation at hand. And so what you're looking at is you're looking to say that other party engaged in some degree of fraud, possibly deceit, something unconscionable or severe bad faith that is so severe and is so specific to the litigation, the dispute at hand, that it justifies the court in making the determination that that party is so unclean with respect to its own behaviors that it cannot be permitted to and allowed to attain the relief that it is seeking at equity. And that is really where the doctrine of unclean hands stands. Naturally, so much of this, as with everything else, is heavily dependent upon the jurisdiction within which you are operating and you are litigating as well as the specifics of the case and the case law that is applicable in the jurisdiction within which you are arguing. So from jurisdiction to jurisdiction, different case law potentially, different outcomes. And also the trier fact may look at the whole totality of events and determine things differently, but that is your basic concept in a nutshell. Thank you.